Cyberpunk 2077's 2020 release might have a definitive version that year. But could those definitive versions be on the PC and Stadia? Wow, let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Before we get started with this one, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because you know the deal. I'm not too proud to ask. And with that being said, I hope everybody is enjoying or has enjoyed, depending on when you saw this video, your holiday weekend if you're in the States because this is Thanksgiving time where everybody eats and gets even fatter all right let's get into it so you know how i like to do this because this is going to be a controversial one people are going to continue to sling mud at your boy mm2k you know what i'm saying for anything for saying anything remotely positive about stadia but it is what it is come one come all but you know how i like to do it i'm gonna break this up into three parts first i'm gonna give you the checkup of the situation i'm gonna break down the analysis and then i'm gonna give you the prescription okay so first let's start with the checkup all right so as you may all know cyberpunk 2077 developed by claim witcher 3 developer cd project red is set for a 2020 release okay now that release is going to be on the xbox one playstation 4 pc and stadia as a lot of people forget that same year though new consoles from xbox codenamed scarlet and the playstation 5 are set to release however per a recent discussion there are no plans at this time of this recording to have a version of that game ready for launch of those units so therefore one has to wonder and surmise what will be the best versions of the game to have in 2020? Now on to the analysis. So determine this, let, let's first take a look at the article itself. So I'm gonna slide over here. For those that are watching the video version, uh-oh. Check it out right here. All right, so this is the article from gamesradar.com. And it reads, Cyberpunk 2077 won't be on PlayStation 5 or Xbox Project Scarlet when they launch. And as we all know, Project Scarlet and the PlayStation 5 plan to launch in November. You know what I'm saying? So if they're launching in November, if they're not going to be out during the holiday season, during launch, they're likely not coming in 2020 at all. And this is a quote from uh, CD Project Red. Quote, our games were always kind of ahead of technology. So... The article reads as such, Cyberpunk 2077 arriving near the end of the console generation makes it a natural target for speculation about a next-gen counterpart. It's a possibility that a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox Scarlet version of Cyberpunk 2077 will happen. That being said, okay, it's, um, but it's a certainty that it's, it isn't going to arrive along with the consoles in time for the holidays next year. Two leaders of CD Projekt Red talked about whether CD Projekt Red plans to bring the first person RPG to next gen consoles in a recent conference call with investors. Quote, when it comes to next gen, our game is coming to current gen consoles. And this is what we've announced. Chief Finance Officer Piotr Nulabuix, and I know I put you that began. Of course, we do have insight into what's around the corner, what's happening with PlayStation and Xbox, and we're watching it closely. One may safely assume at some point we're going to do something with next gen. However, we cannot be very specific about what that might be or when exactly that might be. I will only safely assume that it's not going to be around the launch time frame of the consoles. And I think that's pretty much it. So that's it. Oh, like it's coming y'all to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox console, which is currently codenamed Scarlet. So now on to the prescription. With that being said, with that information that we just got from that article, it's fair for one to surmise that CD Projekt Red will be working on texture packs and enhancements for all platforms, you know what I'm saying, as ports are being worked on for the next-gen consoles and the other platforms that, that, that need such enhancements. 
Now we know as far as the PC is concerned, the product will look and perform best there. Even on comparable hardware to, to consoles. We know that, that's how PC you know, gaming is. And CD Projekt Red in particular is known to put their best efforts forward on PC first. That said, it will also be fair to assume that at release, the Xbox One X and quite possibly the PlayStation 4 Pro versions might have better visuals than Stadia. However, Stadia is likely to run at a much, much better frame rate as we've seen uh, for games at launch of the Stadia product. One also has to remember that Stadia's advantage is you don't have to invest in any hardware upgrades as the quality of their version improves, okay? So as CD Projekt Red sends patches to consoles to merely address bugs, the performance on those consoles will likely be capped to what you get at launch due to hardware limitations. Stadia will not have such issues. So without a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Scarlet version that will upscale performance and visuals, at least in 2020, one can viably argue that yes, the red-headed stepchild, Stadia, will have a performance and very well likely a quality advantage over the console versions as the year progresses. But that's one opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Like I just said, let me know what you think because who cares what I think? But if you like what I had to say, you know what I'm saying, you can check out the links below to follow me. Yo, follow your boy also per those same links on the Broadband Bullies, Next Year 720's channel, and BigGamersTalk.com. Um, also, follow me on the PNTS Network. And lastly, don't forget to follow me on the Hard Knock Digital Culture. You know what I'm saying? At HNDC.live. And with that said, again, enjoy, or I hope you've enjoyed your holiday festivities. You all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.